I'm Maria Soreo from the Long Beach Grand Prix, and here's my starting grid spotlight. I am a television sports reporter, anchor, and host. Now, I work in Los Angeles covering the NBA, hockey, Major League Baseball, the NFL, NASCAR, and IndyCar. Now, I cover all of these sports and more, and I just happen to use a wheelchair. I may have been the victim of a drunk driver when I was five years old, but that was nothing more than a bump in the road for me. One of the greatest things I've learned from professional athletes is our greatest victories happen when we overcome obstacles in our life. I've been an actress appearing on such shows as the Fox hit Prison Break and the ABC Family show Make It or Break It. I was the first woman in a wheelchair to compete in a Miss California beauty pageant. After that, I created the first fitness videos for people that needed to adapt their workout routines standing up or sitting down. I was the national spokesperson for Cybex Fitness Equipment, where I traveled the world hosting my own exercise show. And my co-hosts were none other than professional athletes who would come on and talk about how they adapted their fitness routines so they could get back on track. And as they say, one thing led to another, and that's how I became a sports reporter. Now here's a look at some of the superstars I've had a chance to chat with talk about the fan experience which is so hugely important here and all of the legends that come out to Dodger Stadium do you want them to be included in the fan experience as well the Maury Wills the Don Newcomb no question about it I mean they're, they're, look they are the Dodgers That's right. they Absolutely. made the Dodgers over the years you've seen you know stadiums change rosters change managers change what was the toughest one for you along the way Ooh, uh, I think probably when some of the players leave that you're used to playing with for so long, you know. I am here with Drew Downey, who is now a Stanley Cup champion. What is going through your mind right now? I'm just so happy. Uh, you know, I don't even know what to say. It's, uh, it's the best moment of my life. And, uh... What happened for you personally? Why was this year so successful for you and continues to be? I guess uh, it's a combination of a lot of little things. Sometimes people don't realize. We are here with Mario Andretti now. We know Mario is passionate about racing, but he is also passionate about wine. In fact, I know you have a winery just a few miles from the track. Yes, indeed. Um, this is a fabulous event for us because uh, we have uh, other things going on at the winery every evening. You, know, you, you talked about driving for you know, Paul and obviously his racing team. What was he like as a person? Because he gave back so much. He was great. I mean, uh, you know, as a, as a role model, I don't think you could ask for anybody better. You know, um, he was a guy I certainly looked up to and admired well, well before I drove for him. And then when I got to drive for him and kind of hear the story of how, you know, hole in the wall camps and Newman Zone and all those things came along, you respect him even more. I mean, you know, if he really wanted, if he were a selfish guy at all, he would have taken some of the profit off of Newman Zone and his family would be a lot wealthier now than. Yeah. They're wealthy, but a lot wealthier than they would have been. But he's not. You know, that's the type of guy he was. Well, now you've seen some of my work. And a big thank you goes out to all of the athletes that have encouraged me to tell my story. Thank you for inspiring me with yours. I'm Maria Soreo, and this was my Starting Grid Spotlight.